This is Jameson Cox here at CES Unveiled, and we're looking at Omron's Project Zero wrist uh, blood pressure monitor. So uh, the interesting thing to note about Omron's monitor is that while it is a wearable, you know, familiar form factor, what you see with Fitbit and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's more intended to be a medical device than a sort of casual wearable that you would use to track your steps or to monitor your physical activity. Uh, Omron's intent is to make it easier for people to monitor their blood pressure on a daily basis and to integrate that activity into their lives. In addition to this wrist monitor, there's also an upper arm monitor that uh, performs the same function. So it's really quite simple to use. All you need to do uh, is turn it on with the center button. And if I were wearing this on my wrist, I would uh, flip it over and press here to start engaging the blood pressure monitoring. Uh, I was wearing it earlier, and as I was wearing it and it was taking my blood pressure, uh, I, you know, I could feel it palpably inflating, and then I could feel that decompression. Same thing you would feel if you were you know, at a drugstore and you were testing out the store's blood pressure monitor. It's the exact same kind of motion. And then what you can do is once your results have been recorded, you can send them to your phone uh, to, to an app that you have uh, via Bluetooth pairing. So that's pretty convenient in terms of monitoring. Um, Omron isn't looking to uh, you know, gamify blood pressure monitoring in any way or make any sort of diagnoses. It's just intended to be a tool that uh, makes it easier for you to keep track of your blood pressure on a day-to-day -day basis if it's something you're struggling with and to uh, monitor that condition. So yeah, this is Omron's Project Zero. Uh, in terms of availability, we're looking at somewhere near the end of 2016 at a price point somewhere around $200. That's it, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to keep it locked to The Verge's YouTube channel and subscribe for everything that's going on during CES.